Hi everyone, this is Mary and you're watching another little piece of my art. And today I'm going to do my January, no, 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 February <laughs> art supply and coloring book haul because um, it's piling up in on my desk and stuff and I wanted to just go ahead and do it now. And anything I get after this point, which shouldn't be really anything because um, I have to go, um, hang on one second. Okay, sorry. I have to go to Delaware um, in March, so I'm going to need some spending money for my trip, and I don't want to be buying anything else. Um, and who knows? Maybe I will go to this place, a store somewhere out there that has something different. Okay, so um, I did find two more of these boxes. I ended up loving the ones that I got. These are from Dollar Tree. Uh, I think they have pink and possibly another color, but I'm not sure what it is. Purple. Purple. That's right. Um, once you get your stuff in there, this little latch latches, and you can pick it up. And so far, nothing has fell, fell out. So I have my pens in one and my fine liners in another one. And I just wanted to get two more because there was something I wanted to put in a case. And I didn't have another case. And I happened to see them at my local Dollar Tree and, um, you know, and I don't know like how long, cause I think it's a spring item and I didn't know how long that they would be around. So I went ahead and grabbed, uh, two. Um, okay. So then I, this is going to be like different things from just whatever is in front of me and it's going to be not all put together in one clump of got it here, got it there, but I'll tell you what each thing was. So I went to the thrift store and I saw this pencil roll. Um, this is ours, like, it's not a Goodwill. It's called City Thrift. It's just like a thrift store, I guess, um, owned by a company. Their prices are usually really high, but um, there's different days of the week when they have colors and stuff. We kind of try to, you know, buy what's in the color. But this wasn't off um that particular day if we'd have been went on a tuesday it would have been 30 percent off but i thought it was tuesday and it was wednesday <laughs> anyway i saw this and um i wanted the wrap the roller this thing uh for one reason is because i have my my ink tense pencils in another roll and the roll is too small and another reason is because i want to try to make these at some point in time and i want to have like one that I could potentially take apart because I found it's easiest for me with sewing. I'm not that good at sewing. In fact, I'm terrible at it. But when I want to do something, I really want to do it. And I found it's easiest for me if I have something that's already um, the shape I want. And then I just take it apart and trace, trace the pieces out. And I can make a pattern that way. So... I might do that. I might keep it intact. I don't know, but it was a nice wrap. So when I opened it, there was these pencils inside. So there's only 44 of them. Um, and when I, there was another case right next to this that said, oh, hoo, hoo like the markers, you know, the black case, the zip case. And um, I was like, oh, wow, if there's oh, hoo, hoo's in there and they still have ink in them, I might get them. They had that marked ten ninety nine, and there was no markers in there. Everything in there was a pencil, and some of these pencils were in that case. So I assumed that the same person donated it. So I just took the pencils that were out of that case and put them in here because in my mind they all went together. The other pencil case had all Crayolas in there, so um, I had to, ended up taking out two or three, not many, but still I just felt like I should get all of the same pencil, you know. So, like I said, there's 44 in here. I have not swatched them all out. Um, I did color something with them. Here, let me get my book. I'm working in art therapy Aztecs and Mayas right now, trying to do all of the whips that I have made myself. And I've got through a few, but not all of them. So I uh, did this, wow, it looked really contrasty in the, on the camera. I did this body with those pencils. And then I did this body with the Crayola pencils that I'm more used to having. I had trouble getting these to layer. Um, I don't know if they're oil pencils or if they are 
wax pencils. I can't tell. Um, to me, it feels more like wax. Um, but yeah, they just say color spell the not American way. <laughs> uh, color. 036 golden yellow and you know I tried doing a Google lens search for them and nothing comes up um, I searched on eBay I searched just in general on Google and I can't find anything so you know maybe they come from Canada or something or maybe they actually come from overseas if anybody watching knows anything about these pencils um, and you could let me know That'd be great because I'd love to do more research on them. I probably um, am not going to keep these pencils. I'm thinking about giving these pencils away to one of you guys if you want them. Um, we'll probably have to do that later though after my trip because I don't want to use any... Oops, am I crooked? I don't want to use any money that I might need to use on my trip. So um, maybe by then I'll be up to 800 subscribers, hopes, hopefully. <laughs> And, um, but I want to keep the case so you guys will just be getting, you know, an envelope pouch with the pencils in that. So there's that. Um, I did get a couple more things at that thrift store. So, uh, you know, my desk is very small. So let me shuffle things around here. Okay, so I got these, or this bag, this goodie bag, and this goodie bag was partially, some was off of that. I can't remember if it was 50% or 30%, but um, it just has some crayons in there and some colored pencils, but it had these paints in the back, and there, this was quite a big palette, and it reminded me of Reeves, because Reeves does this this bright red color in their palette so let's open it okay <clears throat> put that in the trash actually yeah okay um so here's the palette and you know they are kind of large cakes um, but it does look like Reeves. It doesn't say Reeves and my Reeves stuff says Reeves. There's no brush but there are so many colors to choose from. So um, I'm going to do a swatching video next where I swatch everything that I got so you can see what it what it is because there's just a lot of stuff and um, it would make this video too long. Um, so yeah, there's some crayons in the, in here, just some Crayola crayons, 24 pack. I can always find use for these. They look brand new. Like I have grandkids and I like to color with crayons too. And then, um, I have two boxes of these Pro Marks. Uh, I'm assuming that's from Walmart. It shows them coloring on coloring pages. So I might go ahead and include these in my giveaway or at least one box. Let's see if they're new. Mm. New-ish. Maybe use a little, very gently used. I don't think they've been sharpened, but let me see the other box. pretty new um so yeah I might go ahead and put one of the those one of these boxes in that giveaway or I'll put them in my giveaway bag and we'll see what I can do with them and then these 12 Crayola let's see if these are new yeah these look to be new new like I don't think they've ever been I don't think they've ever been colored with at all. Yep. So, um, if there's somebody out there who doesn't have any Crayolas, I might go ahead and put all of those pencils in the giveaway box and you can keep... Sorry if I'm crooked. 
I can't tell if it's my neck or my <laughs> or my um thing. So if there's anybody out there that doesn't have any Crayolas or any pencils, you know, keep keep watching, and uh, eventually you might see a giveaway. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I also picked up. <sighs> Okay, and now I'm going to have to move stuff to my dresser. <laughs> We're getting tight. I also picked up this box here. This is a, like a locking type of a box. It's in the same color blue, which you can see. My curtains in my room are here are blue. Um, I have a lot of blue in here. It is like the flavor of Florida, that color. So uh, this box, I think I'm going to put my... Um, either some markers that I have or um like my brush tip marker collection or I might use it for collage cutouts I'm not sure yet but inside here I have some also some things from the Dollar Tree oh there's that planner <laughs> I was like I thought about a planner you did yeah so um I love their hard like hardback planners um I think it's like is it one year or two okay one year but it gives you a lot of space um i kept one of these religiously for like a year and a half and then my brother died during like the second the second one that i was doing and i just lost it but um it's nice because every day i would just write down a little snippet of what i did that day or whatever the highlight of the day was and then um at the end of the year it's cool to look back also you never i don't quite remember the dates on certain things events that happen like um let's say your dog got sick or something you know it's good to know that stuff and have a record of it if you have to refer back to it so um i always get one of these and then in the back I put, you know, my important addresses and phone numbers just in case I am ever, because Lord knows, you know, as much as us people are on our phones these days, they, your battery goes dead and you have to, like, get a hold of somebody or something like that. I can't remember a dang number anymore, not one. So I, p I always put, like, my most important numbers in the back. Uh, and then, of course, when I'm traveling, which I'm going to be getting ready to do, as I said, uh... I have to have something to look at. Like, I, I just, I, I'm, I don't do well with keeping stuff in my phone. I have to have something to look at to refer to in terms of what flight I'm go, going on and the times. And um, cause we have to take a shuttle because my dad lives in the middle of nowhere. So uh, we have to shuttle and just all that information. So, yeah, I got that, even though it's already February. Um, my DT had my, uh, tool effects pens. I love these pens. If you watch my miniature journal flip, I showed a couple of little things that I like to color and draw in these pens. Um, to me, this is one of the best pens that they have. And mine, one close to me, never ever has these anymore. So you would think I would be stocked up, but I wasn't. So I got to, uh, when I saw them in this other Dollar Tree that we don't go in too much anymore, I got two packs. I think there's six, six pens all together, six different colors, but they only had those two. Um, and then I got these. These are metallic ink pens. I just thought that was cool, an ink pen, but it's metallic. So that will be pretty to to write with and we'll swatch that out these out too in my next video and i'll swatch out these if you've never seen these how these effects do um i will swatch those out in my next video as well or an upcoming video soon and show you that okay this came from let me move this box these came from a different thrift store, like a church thrift store by my house. Um, and I have a travel journal. Well, it's like a Midori journal, you know, a traveler's notebook. I have a traveler's journal that I put only travel things in. So pictures and uh, experiences, sketches, um, postcards, uh, little 
tags and things from unique things that I maybe got to eat or drink or you know what I mean it's like uh something from the hotel that you stay in that kind of stuff so yeah I did pick up these little vellum these little vellum sheets I love vellum paper it's one of my favorite things okay so I know that over here I also got um from the Dollar Tree. I got these. I was perusing the toy section because uh, I watch a lot of Dollar Tree hauls and I have my few favorite Dollar Tree haulers that show me, <laughs> me, just me. They're just doing it to show me, <laughs> show uh, what they recently purchased from the Dollar Tree. And um, um, somebody was showing some, some toys that I was interested in picking up for, um, cause I have a big toy box that I drag out when my grandkids come in September for Labor Day. And so I had seen some toys that I was considering adding to the collection. And so I was in the toy aisle. When I was in the toy aisle, I saw these fuzzy posters, these velvety posters. And this like took me right back to the nineties because we would get these all the time, my kids and I, and we would do them together. But these terrible markers just make you hate life. So I thought, well, would it be fun if I just got another pack and did them with decent art supplies? Like, how would that be? So that might be something I do on a color and chat type of a video. Oh, I forgot to show you these also from before. Uh, I got, my husband actually bought these for me, but, um, he spotted them and he was like, I'll buy them. And he, I grabbed the container or the box and he goes, I am so shocked. I said, what? That I'm not buying something that's 100% Crayola all the time. And he goes, no, that you're buying a box that's ripped. Cause like, I hate that. It's one of my ugh, pet peeves, but it was the only one left. Um, so yeah, somebody mentioned in one of my videos about wondering how these were. And, um, I think they were telling me that they had them. I can't remember. It's been a while, but I'm going to do some swatching on these and compare to Crayola. So if you're into twistables, keep an eye out for that. Okay. Now I'm going to save the books for last. Oh, do you remember those watercolor paints that I bought at the thrift store before? I just popped them in here. I just pop the whole plastic thing down in here so this will be my travel watercolor set that I could take to the beach and I'll just get me a small brush I should have one in all this mess I know I have one um or bring my, uh, my water brush and then um nothing will happen to them hopefully because they'll be protected so Altoid tins are great my husband is a smoker and he knows I don't like it so he eats a lot of Altoids <laughs> And then he gives me the empty case. Um, okay. Ugh. Okay, so those are all the books. Um, so now, there is this channel I watch on YouTube, and her name is Iced Hazelnut. I've talked about her before because she's very inspiring to me because she finds really cool art supplies and books. And also, she likes she has the same taste in books as me. Sometimes... She'll do a haul and I'll be like, oh my God, I have that book or I've ha I want that book. It's been in my car, you know, um, and that's hard to find because a lot of times on YouTube, people like the same thing or, you know, they, they get into, um, an artist and you see a lot from that, like Kirby, you know, you'll see a lot of videos from that and stuff like that. And I just like weird books that kind of seems like nobody really likes them or cares about them because they could be clip art or whatever but that's just what I like so she is like that too and um she always finds the coolest things so she found these and I was like I have to have those these are made by um academy yeah these are made by academy and these are a 12 pack of colored recycled newspaper pencils so she said she found hers at Myers, and um, if you don't know Myers, it's spelled M-E-I-J-E-R. It's like a grocery store, kind of like it was a Walmart superstore before Walmart had a superstore, or at least in my area. Myers was there first, and then Walmart superstore came. So yeah, it was there first, and uh, she got hers for on clearance for 
two dollars well i don't have a meyer here in florida because i think they're a midwest company so i of course went to handy dandy ebay and i found them on there and the first pack i found the person i think she had two packs and she was selling them for 19 dollars. So i was like i don't need two packs i kept looking and i found a box for six dollars including the shipping so six dollars total and I was really happy. I mean, because that was the original price. So whoever got them, whoever was selling them, maybe got them for a gift or something. I don't know what their reason is, but they sold them for the price that they originally bought them for or the person bought them for. So anyway, um, Ice Hazelnut Channel, she was saying that these, you know, she was shocked and she kept them in the case with her Prisma colors because she was surprised at how... Um, much pigment they had in them and I thought yeah I don't know I mean how much could it possibly you know have but it really does they are creamy and they are waxy and yeah they're made from rolled up newspaper so I don't know like how that's going to be with um sharpening like I'm worried about that so like well if so, so the first time I sharpen it is it going to loosen everything up and inside but I don't know. We'll see. So far, I haven't sharpened them, so I can't tell you. But, uh, yeah, I uh, I thought that, I mean, they were, they were unique, and I just wanted to have them. But I thought that, I also thought they were highly pigmented for what they are. Um, very creamy, like this purple one just slid across the paper. Um, I haven't colored a page with them yet, so... I can't really say, you know, in terms of that, but I'm just going to show you a few colors. Um, they are also, uh, the colors that they come with, like there's no brown, there's no black. Wait, is there, let me be sure. Yeah, there's one brown. Okay, so there's the brown and the black. I didn't see the third layer before. There's a gray, so there's like greens and peaches and a lot of blues these two blues seem very similar to me, but okay. There's no color names on them. Purples. Um, light. Light colors. You know, just off-white, creamy color. Um, yellow. One yellow, which is sad. No, there's another yellow down there. I gotta have a lot of yellow in my life. <laughs> in orange and more greens and then the ones that you just saw so this is what they look like just a few colors but they are pretty uh, pretty decent so yeah i think that that might be something that uh i can take with me because i don't want to i don't want to take you know anything that's expensive in case I lose it or, uh, you know, I don't know, leave it at my dad's or whatever may happen. And I don't want to take something like, you know, super, super frustrating the color with. So I don't know. I might take these. Um, and then another thing she had, Hazel, Iced Hazel Nuts Channel, she had that I saw that I wanted was these. And you know, I usually don't make big purchases because I can't, I have to pay my house payment, but um, these were $20 brand new on eBay. And that's including the shipping. And this is Lyra Skin Tone Set. These are big, big pencils. Um, in fact, Hazel was saying that she's had hers for years and years because they just don't use up, you know? But they have, um, they'll tell you on the pencil, so this is like mainland Chinese skin tone, um, Shanghai, oh, I can't really, sorry, not Shanghai, Spanish, <laughs> sorry, I can't read that far away, Shanghai, huh, um, well, Chinese, Okay, we have more than one Chinese. We have Ger um, <laughs> American Indian. <laughs> I'm reading that. Okay, I guess I should just quit trying to read stuff. But you can read them if you can see them. There we go. Anyway, I uh, 
have not swatched these out. I'm going to do all the swatches with you guys and just have a swatch and chat. But, um, I started to use, like, two, two of them on the skin of, let me get my, let me get my, uh, book back. Where did I put it? There it is, underneath stuff, which caused an, <laughs> which caused an avalanche. Okay. All right, so I started to use them as the underskin on this picture here. Let me get it sideways. So I started to use them as like the under colors on this picture here. And um, once I get the the like the blocks of, in of color not the blocking but like where I want the low lights and the highlights and all that then I'll use a prisma but prisma is too soft in my opinion to do under like under painting work with I don't know what else to call it it's not painting but you know what I mean um I just mostly I use prismas for my over stuff like I'll even use crayolas for my under work and then the prismas on top um, for like to work when I'm going to burnish and stuff like that. So, yeah. Sorry for sniffling. I'm taking cold medicine still, but you know, it's not working. Okay. And now I've got one, two, three, four, five books. Um, this one I'm not going to open because it's a birthday present for my grandson. But I did find the Marvel um star wars pages and this one has a poster inside and these are loose pages if i if i remember correctly no this one is a book okay yeah he loves spider-man so he's gonna get that in his birthday box so we got that one and that one was orange so orange orange that day was uh half off so yeah it was two dollars um, and then I got this one. You might have seen my short I made about it. Uh, let's see if I can back up. Okay, so this one, let's make, make it worse. This is a tracing paper coloring book. Um, in the beginning of it, this is like the same of this, uh, similar to the 100 books to color kind of books that I have. I have two of them that are with the colored backgrounds and stuff. But this one comes with tracing paper in the beginning. So I thought that was a cool, you can, this is like vellum too. Um, you can, these are perforated so you can take these out and I have a light box and I thought my grandkids would have fun tracing um, stuff onto other paper. Um, and I might use some of these skulls to is that that cuts out the work of me make because I always like when I'm drawing the skull I'll always have one side wonky and have to erase and go back over and stuff like that so yeah there is the tracing pages and then uh, you get some paper just like regular paper in there I guess for your tracings and then another sheet of empty vellum. And uh, how to use this book. It just says you could fill in the pictures the way you want. Um, you could take out the tracing pages and add stuff. Um, yeah. So, um, this one has like a compilation of, I think I'm talking about the, um, uh, let's see, Do -do -do. like the just relax and color, like therapy kind of books. This one has like a compilation of a lot of the pictures in there. The paper is super thick. There's a nice mandala. Here's some vases or vases however you prefer to say that there is a tree I think I've colored this before or if not something similar some flowers a nice bird 
There's like some more flowers, pattern paint. There's a coffee and tea cups or tea cups, whatever. Circus. Some more patterns. There's a building. So yeah, you get the idea. Just doodle pages. I know most people don't like them. I, like I said, have a weird taste. I just find them more relaxing. If I don't have to think about, I think about it a lot. Then to me, it's relaxing. Um, not that I don't like to do other, you know, portraits and things like that, but those just require a lot more brain power for me and sometimes um I have it and sometimes I just don't <clears throat> birds this one I really really liked um I think I've colored these deer before one wasn't laying down but similar and I really liked coloring them so I really like this page and I like this kitty. I like that elephant. I like the snakes and I really like this mask or a person wearing a mask. I don't know which it is. It has eyeballs, but no neck and shoulders. <laughs> mask that came alive and i like this cute mermaid she's adorable i like the fish i like the mandalas so there was enough in it for the uh the price because I, I really like the tracing thing idea and there was enough pictures i like the seahorse and i like the birds that i thought you know it could come and join the family. Um, I like both of those. So it was also two dollars because it's three ninety nine, and orange was half off that day. So then I found this one, and this one was also two dollars. This is a Dream Designs Creative Haven very big very big thick book oh so this is a lot of patterns different ones um some of them are like outside looking pictures and some of them there's another outside one some of them are just designs that you know don't have any kind of realism about them i guess there's a lot of birds in here. That's one thing. I flipped through every page of this in the store to make sure I really liked it. And there was a lot of birds, which won me over. So I think there's some pictures in here included from the Fanciful, Fanciful Faces, if I remember correctly. Because I think this is Marjorie. No, it's Miriam Madado. Yeah, Miriam Madado. There's a cute unicorn. music page so um yeah i like this surreal like dreamy landscapey kind of pictures um somebody colored one or two maybe just one the papers you know it's not too bad they forgot to put a blotter page so i would have to do this page in the colors that they chose i don't know if you guys can see but the marker are on the page but um yeah just something different new to me probably not new to you <laughs> okay and then um this one was on from another day this is the golden girls coloring book i already have this book uh I can't remember if I bought it for my daughter or not, so we went ahead and got it again, and um, it was 
so there was no colored pages in this one so for three bucks uh, everyone in my family adores the golden girls and, and my daughter my oldest daughter colors a lot too my youngest daughter can color but she just says she doesn't have the patience to color <laughs> and then the last thing i got was this one so this is by blush design i guess this was an amazon book i don't know um and it's doodle dragons adult coloring book so i saw that and i was like well it's the and this, so this one was 199 which meant it was a dollar and i was debating um because yeah it's amazon and the paper is way crafty but they're one-sided um, here's a list of all their other books. Apparently, there's quite a few. Um, a lot of these pictures I've seen before, so this is all definitely uh, images you can get. But my grandson, oldest grandson, likes dragons, and it's the year of the dragon. So we thought, why not? Um, I don't know if there's any tags for dragons for this year, but... I know I plan to color a few. Oh, that's hard for you to see, isn't it? I know I want to color a few. These ones are really light line art. There's a couple cool pages in here. Some of them I'm like, eh. And some of them I really liked. See this, this one I'm like, eh. It's really light and it's hard for me to even see like what's going on. I think he's flying with his head yeah there he is there's the eye he's flying with his head going to the left by his feet see i wouldn't i wouldn't do that justice i like that one but um i don't like that one either I, it's, it's these really light pictures are real hard for me to see so i don't mess with them too much um but yeah my husband was like you know hunter will like that just get it <laughs> so now we have a dragon coloring book never thought i'd say those words because i'm not a big on dragons but here we are that one's good for me nice and dark that one's kind of cool Must have been inspired by my dad. He has a dragon tattoo. He also has a lion. So I think that is everything. Let me look and make sure. And then I have to put all this away, which is the not fun part. I'm looking around real quick to make sure. And that's my granddaughter's stuff. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching if you're still with me. And um, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.